assalamu alaikum all the students and welcome all the students in this summer session again and this uh, experiment 3 i will explain that is water analysis of solid water analysis of solid objective is today to estimate the total solid and to dissolve this to total dissolved solid that is tds and total suspended solid that is TSS. Three types of solids we have to, I will demonstrate you, we have to uh, find out how many TS, TDS and TSS. Suppose uh, I will show in the demonstration but uh, let me explain here. I will just have the sample of the water sample. It contain all three TDS and TSS and TS total is means if you add TDS plus TSS. So that sample, I will take it and we just took 25 ml from this sample into two different beakers and these beakers we already weigh. So we should know the mass of these 100 ml beaker, then transfer 25 ml of the total so sample that contain TDS plus TSS. So we will analyze for TS and another beaker we have 100 ml beaker, another sample 25 ml this we will analyze for TDS but both are TS now so what is the difference here this is for TDS this is for TSS TS sorry not TSS TS total solid so now this I will filter it first this 25 ml that is TS total solid we filter it so after when filtration this sample we got it that is TDS and whatever residue left on the filter paper that is supposed to be TSS but TSS we will calculate by different method but this is also one method for TSS so now we collect this TDS and now we collect this TS from here it contain both TDS plus TSS and we put all together on the water bath TS and TDS and after that when the water is evaporated then we will get the TS solid and TDS solid and these things calculation I will explain later on now first I will demonstrate you how to do all these experiments so now we have the sample this sample contain TSS and TDS alright this is very clear and now from this sample we have taken 25 ml alright this is 25 ml we collected this sample and now this is in the two beakers I will take it and after that we will have two beakers for TS and TDS so I will take the mass of T empty beaker on the, uh, on the balance and the mass of empty beaker for TDS on the balance then we will take the mass then we transfer this 25 ml 25 ml sample in TDS beaker and 25 ml sample in TS beaker as I as I told you that this TS contain both TSS and TDS but for TDS we have one more step what we do this this is not actually TDS this is the TS now but we have to filter it when we have to filter it we filter it now I transfer into the funnel alright there is a filtrate there the white color the filter paper and this the, the, the sample is coming down this sample is this sample is TDS this is actually TDS because the TSS which is left over on the filter paper after filtration right now this is the sample TDS and TS we have this is all 25 ml after this one we just put it on the hot plate when this water is evaporated after that we will get to we will get the total dissolved solid here and we will get the total solid and these total solid contain both TSS and TDS alright so after evaporating this we will get we will get the solid this is 
total solid we get it after evaporation and now we get we got it TDS after evaporation now we will take the final mass of TS and we write down in the report sheet and also take the final mass of TDS then we record into the report sheet so in this way we got the mass of TS and mass of TDS final simple calculation the final weight of the beaker after heating so we will take suppose total solid final minus initial weight in gram so the TS mass in gram divided by 25 ml because we took 25 ml sample multiply by 1000 because this is we have to determine per liter per liter because the ppm is always you know the milligram milligram per liter P ppm means milligram per liter so that's why we have to determine the solids in ppm so now this mass of the total solid divided by 25 ml and multiplied by 1000 so we will get ts milligram per liter that is ppm same the same method same way we can calculate the TDS that is also milligram per liter ppm once you have the TS and you have TDS then you can calculate TSS the TSS is TS minus TDS so now in this way you determine TS TDS and TSS so this is all about the water solids which we determine experimentally and you calculate the weight, weight and everything is written on the report sheet and you calculate accordingly and also you can calculate percentage error because for the percentage error calculation percentage error calculation percentage error right we provide the actual value actual mass of TS TDS and TSS right so these actual mass so you can calculate used into the formula the actual minus experimental divided by actual multiply by 100 so in this way the percentage error you will calculate of all solids now thank you very much have a nice day bye bye all the best